Hello everyone, here we are today to talk about another great builder from Motion Factory and if you are not sure of where to get Motion Factory from, easily navigate to pixflow.net and click on Motion Factory. Today we are talking about a new feature that comes from a Particle Builder so you need to go to Particle Builder and get it for free from here. Once you download Motion Factory and Particle Builder you can go and look for sand pack by scrolling down the website you will get all available packages for particle builder which are starter you can download it for free elemental magical and the new one which is sand pack by clicking on discover pack you will lead to envato to buy the pack after you download both motion factory and sand pack this is what you will get and today we're going to talk about sand pack. You need to just drag and drop the sand pack inside motion factory panel and after it installed, hit close button. So all your items will be unlocked and ready to use. There are three items for brush followed by three items for alpha. Let's get a glimpse how it works. We'll import a picture. Just create a composition by dragging your picture down to timeline. And you don't have to be worried about the size of your picture because this plugin is able to work in any sizes. Then just hit the brush button on the first item. Please make sure that your layer is selected. It will take a while to generate all the components that it needs. Once it's done, it will guide you to the layer monitor which is makes you ready to use brush and if you are on After Effects CC 2018 the brush tool will be selected automatically and if you are using the lower version of After Effects you need to manually go and use the brush tool well now we will start brushing you can use small brushes in different areas so it will give you the most natural look as you can see the other icon and motion factory panel are turned gray which means they're not active right now and what you need to do is go to the item that you selected at the beginning and hit apply brush it will take a short while to give you the final result and if you want to see the better look of it you need to bring your time indicator a little further so you can see all the particles generated and out on the screen here's the final result and if you want to customize the visual you need to go to particle setting and start to change in the numbers start changing amount wind direction speed life contrast or even custom color after you're sure about the numbers you need to hit apply button so the changes will apply to your composition all right let's take a look at the second brush and see what's the difference between the second brush and the first one I'll drag another picture which has a totally different dimension compared to the first one to show you that the size doesn't matter. I'll hit the brush button on the second item and it will take a while to generate all the component that it needs and I start brushing. I'll do it zigzag way to give it more organic look and once I'm done, I'll hit the apply brush button and it will lead me to the main composition. This brush is made specifically for the area that you need particles come from center. And one new feature in this brush is the wind indicator. By moving this layer, you are in control of wind direction. And as you can see, we toggle off the mask to not change the shape of the indicator. So you can turn it off and just move the layer. And inside the setting panel, you can change the amount, speed, life, contrast, or even change the color to the custom color that you want. 
There is a control setting layer which comes with the effects inside effect control panel which are exactly the same as particle setting effects. We set the preview resolution in half so you can change the wind direction without taking much of your computer resources and after you're happy with the result you can change the preview resolution to full. We're done with the second brush and let's take a look at third one. I'll drag an image inside After Effect and we'll make a composition from that footage. I'll hit the brush button on the third item. We'll take a while to generate the components. I'll brush the left side of this image. I'll do it exactly the same way that I did it before and hit Apply Brush. Once it's done, I'll take the time indicator after the second thin to see the full resolution and the particles are completed. As you can see, the visual is totally different from the first one. Even your render time is much faster. I can go to particle settings and start changes. Hit the custom color or take it off. And the rest of features are exactly same as last two items. Very well, now we are done with the brushes. Let's take a look at alpha items and see how they are working and where you can put them in use. For this purpose, I'm going to bring in one image inside After Effects. It can be a logo or any kind of transparent layers. And it doesn't matter what size it is. and drag the layer inside timeline to make a composition from it. Once I'm done, I'm going to hit the alpha button on the fourth item and bring the time indicator after uh, first second so I can see the visual. It's much faster compared to brushes because it's much lighter and uh, by going to particle setting I can change the starting time from 0 to 1 and as you can see uh, the particle will start after second 1. I'm able to change the wind direction or speed of the particles and uh, make sure that you hit apply button after it changes. Now let's give it another example and work on text layers and see uh, what does the second item do with the text. I'll type in a text. It doesn't matter what the place is. And hit the alpha button on the second alpha item. I'll bring that time indicator a little further. And by going to particle setting, I can see the exact same setting that I had in the first alpha item. I hit apply and close it. And let's take a look at the third one. For this one, I'll use a shape layer. I'll make a dot, a red dot. And I will hit the apply button on the last item. I'll bring the indicator a little further again and see the result. Now we're done with the sand pack and let's take a look at other items inside Particle Builder. These items need trap code particular to run, but these six sands doesn't need any kind of plugins to run and they're running an after effect natively. Let's take a look at Motion Factory dashboard. You can follow us from dashboard or which builder have you installed in your machine and uh, which packs of the builders are installed. I can see Sand is installed 
in my machine or even I can go and purchase them. There is other products like Type Builder, which gives you a fabulous type of graphics, or even after you download and install the free version of Motion Factory, it will come with the Action Builder free package. All right, let's not forget about uh, Pixflow website, pixflow.net, and you can download Motion Factory for free from here. And thank you for watching.